all my days to been taking some um, female hormones um, called uh, it's, it's, it's a drug a generic drug which um, helps to uh, keep it, it, it stops your hair from falling out so <laughs> when it goes from being very hot to medium to intermediate to moderately warm then um, it's um, it changes and, and I, I wake up with these excruciating and very intense headaches uh, really the, at the end of the day I don't know if I could have gone two months with this <coughs> in plaster and <coughs> in the bruises and well that, that that part didn't bother me so much it was the fact that I wouldn't be able to breathe properly for two months it will prevent prostate cancer but on the flip side of that on the downside of that the, the, there is a slight chance that you could develop lady memories. Great big pendulant breasts, apparently, but um, the doctor did say that it mainly happens within the Asian community and that usually Caucasian people are okay with this. It just all really depends how prone to put it on weight you are. I kind of find myself waking up at least six to seven times during the night uh, because of the pain and therefore once I'm awake it's a psychological thing I find it very hard to go back to sleep again unless I've gone to have a tinkle mm. huh? I thought you wanted to get up early because you had a bit of studying today yeah oh, half well, these clothes aren't even washed do you think I should take them? but you thought I was going to wash them for you? no, no. so you're seriously going to leave then yeah? yeah. you're ready to go uh, look even him is ill Look, I'm not, it's not for good, you know, it's only for a while. I've booked a um, return ticket anyway, so you didn't even want to know what kind of ticket I've bought anyway. So now I'm telling you, it's a return ticket, so in about three months. I keep moaning and whinging. You kept, you said it yesterday. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, and I'm not taking you to the airport if that's okay, so I hope you've organised. Why didn't you tell me that before? No, I'm not going to, I've just huh? decided. Why are you being such a, a nasty little bitch? Why, Why don't you tell I me that take before? You I'm for... read something else. Yeah, well, you're the one that wanted to go. Well, a cab's going to be over hundred dollars. That's all right. Huh? That's, that's what you have to pay. We'll get only the three of us there. Yeah. We'll get yeah. Only the three of us. Well, you look a bit sad. The vitamin shut This is only for a little while, anyway. Are you serious? You're not going to take me. I don't want no? to. You're not going to take me. <laughs> you think that's funny? You think it's funny you leave? Well, then I'm going to have to leave in about half an hour. Yeah, that was well, then leave. Yeah. It's happening again, yeah? Mm. <clears throat> oh, he's been in the hospital for a week then. And my sympathies go out to them, yeah, really they do. But if I don't get enough sleep for work, I'm going to end up in hospital too. <laughs> 5 a.m. again. Oh, you're just jealous because our surrogacy fell through. <laughs> How can I be jealous of a baby who won't stop crying? Oh, Dan, this is what we'll have to go through. We still won't go. <laughs> Shut up, you and take a pill. Continue. That is, that is so gay, gay. What we did is we, um, we uh, washed my passages out with some saline and salt and it lasted a very long time and the mucus just poured and poured and poured from my nose to the point that it was really unbelievable. I was there for at least three hours um, releasing all of this build up congestion that, that had gone on for a long time maybe many years. So that kind of helped to alleviate a lot of pressure, which in turn kind of helped to alleviate a lot of pressure going on here in my head. 
But I mean, it got to the point so badly where I had to go to a hospital because I was really getting paranoid and thought that I, <laughs> thought that, that I might have a, a brain tumor or something. So now I don't know when, uh, I don't know where, I don't know how, but I will be endeavouring to have my deviated septum rectified at some stage in my life. I'll show you. That's my, there you go. Look, that's my brain scan. As you can see, in some of the most shaded areas, this is where you're supposed to see um, some kind of abnormal activity. There is much abnormal activity going on, but I think from what they said, there, there is none. I do have diabetes insipidus uh, within the family at the moment, so I am due for another checkup. With the fact that I am going to the toilet quite a lot it's um it can it can get very very frustrating because i do have to shake and dry quite a great deal and the thing is is that i really don't want to have to do it Bear up with this you no know, one day you're up next day you're down i never know where you are what you're going to be the following day <laughs> This tree is dying and he's calling out for help. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. I'm coming, I'm coming. If only just to give him one last piece of hope, just to show that somebody actually does care. Somebody does care. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. One last friend. One last friend to mumble your last words with. It hasn't got long left. I can feel the end is very imminent. It's close. But we have to talk to him one last time just to find out. Where do they go? Where do they go after life? Do they just become moss? Do they just become earth and soil? Maybe come back as another tree in another life. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> It doesn't communicate to you just because your flesh is against this flesh, although that's, shh, shh, shh. that's a nice I can hear a bit. Can you? Can you really? Yeah. Oh, we should hear the stories of this one. But you probably won't understand. What do you mean? I can interpret, I can translate it, okay? Right. It says, Ambre. Ambre. It says, Tengo Ambre. What are you talking about? It's Spanish, the tree. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what a freak. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. A question. Um, you say that you can basically by holding or hugging a tree, touching it, you can yes. tell how old it is. Absolutely. Right. But you know how normal people tell how old they are? Okay, well how? Basically, you count the rings. And by that, you can see how old they are. Yes, that's right. Of course you can. Yes, of course. But there are people, gifted people, talented people, gifted? who can also... I believe that I'm gifted with this, with this ability to be able to speak to trees. So we can also tell the age that way. There are many ways, many different ways that you can tell the age of a tree. You can tell about the life of a tree. And you can hear its thoughts. What better way to hear its thoughts than to just look at rings? Right. Do you know we've got about eight hours to wait for the next flight to London, or for our flight to London? You're asking me whether I know. Ah? Uh? I say the team. Is that the price we have to pay for a cheap flight to London? Are we going on that big plane with a huge nozzle? Ours is only coming in seven hours. Well, oh, there's not even like a decent place to get coffee around there. That, caf that latte, iced latte, tastes like shit. I watched three films on the plane and then I took about uh, two sleeping tablets but they still didn't work because my legs are squashed up like this in a fetal position. Uh, you shouldn't sleep too much because you, you won't sleep on the flight. No, actually you will sleep on the flight, you can sleep anywhere, can't you? But I can't sleep so I'm wandering around here aimlessly not knowing what to do. Are you going to sleep all the time? Huh? Yeah. Fucking mood. Fucking 
mood. I'm not in a mood, I'm just tired. Seven hours we've been here, and we only got another hour to go, I hope. That's what you get if you want to be frugal and look for the cheapest flights. Stuck in Vietnam without so much of a decent part of the floor to sleep on. Honestly, this isn't travelling in business class or anything, is it? Dirty bastard. <laughs> Oh, that is still 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 I, I will sometimes have to, when I wake up, put my sunglasses on and I have to walk around and go about my every daily activities, <laughs> my daily activities um, in this mode. So basically it will help prevent the offset and it will continue to aid me through the day with um, a clear conscience and uh, no insecurities. I can't sleep on my right hand side anymore. Um, only if I'm very lucky and if my passages have cleared throughout the night at some point or other without my knowing and I've turned over and I'm very unconscious or semi-conscious or, or, or whatever state you're in with your aura around you, whatever state you are when you're asleep, having a nice sleep, that usually means that I can then just sleep and toss and turn on whatever side I want to. Sorry about that, people are, again, uh, just had to take a little time out there to uh, recollect my, my thoughts and to dry. One huge problem here, again for those who care, is that most are about 10 years behind the UK in terms of acceptance and embracing alternative sexualities. Believe it or not, there is still a law in this state which permits a heterosexual man to appeal for self-defence if he accidentally or intentionally murders a gay man because he was accosted by him. The straight man could very well be acquitted if he satisfied the judge and jury that he went through a very bad ordeal. How the fuck would any judge truly be able to differentiate between a hardened gay basher who saw a loophole to kill one or someone who was genuinely subjected to sexual harassment by another man? Not that murder should be condoned if the latter was true. Very sick. Apparently though, there are petitions circulating to try and get this law abolished. On the whole, to sum up, Australia has plenty of pluses. I just have to get used to the fact that a lot of people here in Queensland are very different and we shall have to get used to hearing about regular anti-gay marches of some sort. This week as I write, it's to protest against same-sex marriages. Maybe you should focus on the ever-increasing crime incidents occurring in this state, probably involving some of your own children you try so hard to shield, before you bestow your discontent and disgrace over two people who love each other and want to get married. Priorities, huh? <laughs> now, like Charles Darwin, I suffer very, very much from the occasional migraine. And I've just read upstairs that what he used to do back then was to have a very freezing cold shower to try and get rid of his ailments and his headaches. And that would often help with his symptoms temporarily, because obviously back then there was no such thing as sulfadine, codeine or any other remedy like that to aid his headaches. So I do feel so sorry for the man, but apparently um, all artistic people suffer from migraines because all they do is ponder and think about things, especially if they're creative. So I'll just put it down to being creative.
Maybe that trip to Switzerland wouldn't have been such a bad idea after all, huh? May have given you last gust of wind or something. Speaking of wind, have you just dropped one? <laughs> I know I said I'll do this and I'm going to, okay? I'll promise you. It's just that... Which, it's just, I, I know how much you love the jacarandas and I thought if we could muster enough energy to get you into the car, I'll drive. It'll only take 20 minutes and then... And then we could just lay there amongst them and watch them for as long as we want. They're not going to be around for long. some park patrol warden, they're going to think we're doing some homemade pornos. Quickly, hurry up. The spots are like a uh, tree's equivalent of acne. Huh. And basically, age, sunlight, and basic. So, so he's, this one, she, he, is in puberty? Yes, you could say that, right, um, right. theoretically, yes, you could. Now you're getting this because it's all just coming ad hoc, okay? None of this is just improvised, okay? This is real. <laughs> it's more of a deep bellowing mother tongue. to get the whole circumference of the tree because then you can really feel it's deep-seated. Oh my God, is that a red back? And then you can really get to feel all of the stories and you hear them Is that the language the tree speaks to you? Shh. I don't understand. It's tree tongue. How many times have I told you about tree tongue? I'm fluent. <laughs> What's the point of doing this if you don't believe in me? Huh? Stop it. I'm sure. Maybe Stop one it. day I'll, I'll... Stop it. You've ruined it. Maybe one day I'll understand. I have a collapsed deviated septum here on the left hand side which means for some reason I don't know why but I can breathe more clearly through the left hand side than what I can the right hand side. Acid reflux is 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 a very very n not a, it's not a very nice thing at all. It's 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 quite intrusive and basically um, I've been living with this for quite some it's time now. But now I find that just the old-fashioned style bicarbonate of soda is is very highly. Uh, efficient. Only downside is you are waiting for a good two to three years, all depending on the severity of the case of course, and I really don't think that they deemed this quite severe. Although I was told by the nurse that this problem will not dissipate, it will stay there and it will come back and basically I've now become allergic to dogs. I've never had been before my whole life, or cats, thankfully. <coughs> I, I really couldn't take the bed because I, after much deliberation, I just realised that uh, I didn't, I wasn't quite ready for an operation quite so, um, uh, it's quite so um, um, uh, uh, debilitating. Oh, that is still, oh, that is still, 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 Seeing the people again, my friends and family, for both of us has been quite emotional and exciting at the same time. But it has made me, I'm still in my head thinking, oh God, okay, so I'll go back to Australia because this grim weather and the fact that there's fuck all here for us anymore, everything seems smaller and I am wondering whether or not I'm gonna still feel bad that I've left people I care about here. But the thing is, is also, you've got to take the dogs into consideration because this is all they had. 
okay? In London, dogs do not bind very well, okay? You need to be somewhere a bit more rural and we could never really have done that. I guess if we came back here, we would have to move slightly outskirts anyway, so. And you can see that people don't have the gumption or the motivation to do things other than go to a pub and get pissed or go for something nice to eat, which is lovely, but you can get that all year round. In the summer, you're supposed to be able to go and have fucking picnics in the park and, and do joyous things that don't cost you anything. But that just seems... Impossible. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, I don't think. Today's supposed to be sunnier. Ah, oh, but it's not going to happen while we're here, for sure, but... I got very emotional when we drove over the bridge at Blackfriars, and I saw St Paul's Cathedral. Yeah, you cried, didn't you? Yeah, well, my chin went like this. But, and it was lovely, but it's hard here. Yeah. And, and I, I love it, and I don't mind that it's raining all the time. But if I would have lived here, I would have been depressed rushing trains already a woman next to me today was like on the underground she was masticating next to you wasn't she it's just horrible <laughs> what do you mean that you think that people have become more rude since we've been gone well i think we're not i think we became accustomed to the rudeness yeah. the dynamics of how i feel are changing constantly so i still don't know yet this break has kind of primarily been about me trying to realize what it is that i want I do have somewhat of a eye ache at the moment, so sometimes I am left with rather dark circles under my eyes, which can be sorted out just with a, a few simple drawers to, under the eyes, like this, with some cover up, just to just to disguise that dark circled, unwanted look that can derive from having many a sleepless n night. I. I, I, the thing is sometimes it doesn't always work that way, does it, with your ailments? Uh, it's, it's possible sometimes to go through life just wondering what if I'd have taken those tablets, what if those tablets had have helped me during that time and prevented me from going somewhat insane and crazy in the head. I don't have enough time in my life to sit there and concern about these issues should they not happen. I have a drawer full of medicine back there in the bathroom, which to me is my baby. It's my security blanket. It's my lifeline. No one can take that away from me and nobody can tell me that that's not right. Nobody can say to me that I'm mental just because I keep all this medication in my bag when I go to the beach or when I go to around the corner. There's nothing wrong with me. I don't need to see a psychiatrist. I don't need to go and see somebody. There's nothing wrong with my brain. It's fine. And it's not all psychosomatic. Basically, most of it's real. <coughs> it's real. It's very real. Things have to be real. Things are real. Excuse me, I need another piss. Ah.